بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائے اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کنفگر رول لیول سیکیورٹی گروپ ممبرشپ وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن مینیج ڈیٹا سیٹس سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ رول لیول سیکیورٹی اینڈ وی سو ہاؤ وی کین کنفگر دا اسٹیٹک رول لیول سیکیورٹی ان دا پاور بی آئی ڈیسک ٹاپ انوائرمنٹ but in real world scenario mostly we are dealing with dynamic row level security and we are going to explore the entire process from the power bi desktop role creation to the configuration of group membership or user configuration for the row level security in the power bi service so let's see what we have to cover in this video so from from the previous video where we cover the static method of row level security we saw that we had to use a dax filter that uses a fixed value whereas in case of a dynamic method we will be using a dax function and we will be covering the other three parts or the other three steps which we did in the last video so in the last video we just focused on the first part and the second part where we created the roles and then we tested the roles in desktop now we are going to deploy the report to power bi service then we have to add memberships or the members to the to the role and then we have to test everything in the power bi service so the dynamic role level security takes out the static element out of the role creation and then also the part where we assign the filtering so we saw that we created a filter and we give they give it a fixed value of northwest but now we are not limiting it to any fixed role now we are saying that okay let's do it dynamically and for that we use dax function so the first dax function that we use is the username which returns the domain name and username of the current logged in user so here we are not assigning the role based on a fixed value but we are actually dynamically getting the domain name and the username in power bi service and then based on the rule definition then we are actually showing the data or filtering the data based on the role level security so the first function is the username function and this is how we are going to create the dax filter expression inside the power bi desktop so it is basically the column on which this particular role has be has to be assigned and this is the dax function so this does not contain anything so it is just a function and it is important to know that what this function actually returns so this function actually returns the result in this format so you have the domain name and then you have the username so this is the first function that we will uh, see so this is the username function the other function which is mostly used is the user principal name dax function and it returns the user name as their email address so you know in terms of power bi service everything is configured on the email address so a lot of people they actually prefer this method where and and, and obviously the filter expression is just modified where instead of the username you have the user principal name and then the user principal name looks like an email address but it is a combination of the three items so we know that in the email address there is first uh, a username then we have the ampersand sign and then we have the domain so this is how an email address looks like and this is how we create the credentials in power bi service so this is the function that is most likely or most commonly used in power bi service once we talk about the dynamic role level security so now let's go and see how we can configure the end to end dynamic role level security Uh, steps first in the power bi desktop and then in the power bi service so in order to actually do this you need to download a few things from the power bi uh, supporting material on the sharepoint so these are the four files so there is a pbix file that has already been configured and then there are three data source files that are connected with this file so you just go and download these and you need to actually go into the power query editor and make sure that the paths for this file are configured to the uh, path on your computer that points to these three csv files so let's go to the power bi desktop environment now so here i am in the power bi desktop environment and i am inside the power query editor and remember in the last video we had this region inside of the region table so this is a different example but 
the the point is obviously the to understand that what is actually happening so we have picked up another uh, column here which is the region column and we have 10 regions here so this is how the the table looks like so in order to have this dynamic row level security functionality we have to make sure that every region has a territory manager so we have added a new column for territory manager and then that territory manager also has an email address so this is again something that you do not need to do in static because you can just create your filtering on the region but here you are now basically assigning an email address to each region so that only the person who logs into the system with these credentials he or she can access the system so here i have created some territory managers and i have assigned some email addresses based upon the domain that we are actually working in so these are the two columns that have been created in the data set and these are required for any data set where you are applying the row level security so that actually if you understand the data modeling so these uh, row level security uh, features actually work like the filter context so basically this part this part which is actually looking after the region now is assigned to this email address and the data for northwest region will be actually linked with this email address and only this email address or this territory manager will be able to see the data for the northwest region so instead of having the region as a static value we have made this dynamic through the email address so now i'm going to close this uh, uh, power query editor window and i'm going to go in the desktop environment so here in the desktop requirement uh, the desktop environment i have created just one page which is just a report which has a few card visuals and then there is a bar chart where all the regions are actually shown and the sales for those regions are shown and then we have a sales by date line chart that is shown and on top there is a card visual which is showing the selected manager so here the if i look at the background there is a measure we have already looked at this measure so here is this measure is actually work using the selected value so whenever the territory manager would be filtered using this selected value the name of that territory manager would come here so so based upon the email credentials the territory manager is going to actually see his name or her name and the results filtered in all these visuals based on the territory manager that we are going to create so we need to create a role that we need to give a name and then we are going to use the dax expression that uses the user principal name function so now let's start this process from scratch and we are going to go into the modeling tab and then i am going to click here on the manage roles to create the role so here i am going to create my role and i need to give it a name so let me just give it the name manager and then once i have created the role i need to actually pick up the the table where my column is but here and now instead of using the this uh, rule based approach i am going to switch to the dax editor and here i am going to use the column that is actually the column inside the regions table and here if i come i can just see that this is my regions table from which i need to pick my column so here i have written my dax expression and this dax expression has the on the left side has the column email address and this column is actually coming from the column that we just saw in the power query editor so this has email address and you need to put that into the square brackets and then on the right side after the equality sign you need to put the user principal named dax function and remember that it's this has to be in the uh, in all caps it has to be in the capital words and so this is how i have created this and now i'm going to click here on save and it is going to say that okay that you have created the specific role now i am going to close this and then i will go and go and explore this functionality through the view as functionality so let me just click here on view as so now here i am going to select this manager and then i also need to select this other user because i want to give the name of any email address that has been specified there in my data so here i am going to write one email address and then i am going to see that okay is this email address 
actually working and showing me the filtered data. So I've entered one email address. So it is from my data. You can actually go and put in your own data. And then here I'm going to click here. And now you can see that the email address of the manager that I gave, the name of that manager is appearing in this card and only the region which was assigned to that particular email address, the data for that email address is being showing and all the data here, here, here in all the visual it has been filtered. So I can see that this thing is working as per my requirement within the desktop environment. Now I need to go forward from here and then I need to actually publish this to the Power BI service. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on stop viewing. I'm going to go and I am going to click on home and then I'm going to click here on publish. So now I'm going to publish this to the workspace that we have been using the PL300 batch three workspace that we have been using in this particular set of videos. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to just paste that, uh, publish that rep this report into that particular workspace. So after a few seconds, I have got the message that the report has been published. So I'm going to click here on got it. And now I'm going to go into the Power BI service environment. So here I'm inside the Power BI service environment. And now you can see that this particular report and data set are now a part of my Power BI workspace. So this report is now present here. So now one aspect that is probably the most important aspect that you need to keep in mind is that the users which you created in your report in the Power BI desktop environment, they can only access this report and have the functionality of row level security implemented if they have the access to this workspace as a viewer role. So it is mandatory that those users should be added in this workspace as a viewer. And we know that how we can add users just by going into the manage access area, I can add people to my workspace and I need to make sure that those roles that I want to check or those roles whom I want that this functionality should work, whose email addresses should work, need to be added as a viewer. If they are added as a contributor or a member or as an admin, then the data will not be filtered and they will have access to the complete data. So role level security will not be implemented. So this is a very important thing that you need to keep in mind. So now we are done with the first three steps and now we what we need to do is that we have to assign the role to the users. So for that you need to come to the data set because obviously everything is in the background part of the data set and not a part of the report. So for in order to configure the roles we need to come in the data set and I'm going to click here on the three dots and then I'll have this option which says security. So here if you see that as soon as this is opened here, it says that, okay, you have the manager role created, but now you need to add members to it. So you can add people or if you have created groups. So these groups are part of the Azure Active Directory. I'm not going to cover those because that is something that the Power BI admin can do. But here you can actually go and now add the email addresses which need to be actually working as a manager in the manager role. So make sure that you also keep this thing in mind that those roles, those email addresses have been added in your workspace as, in, as a viewer and not as a contributor member or admin. So here you can add the email addresses by simply adding their names here. So here I have added a couple of email addresses and all I need to do is this. I just need to click here on add and then I need to click here on save. So this is the last step that needed to be done. And now what I need to do is that I will now go and now if that user, so there is not, nothing where, uh, you know, that there is no role here where, where I can go and, and test the functionality. So now this is going to be tested according to the credential. So if a user who has been added, he comes and opens this report, then that user is only going to see the report that has been filtered according to the role. So that is a very important thing that you need to keep in mind. So here I am actually in the report and 
I am seeing the entire data. It has not been filtered for me. And why is that, is that so? Because I am the admin of this particular workspace. So I am actually seeing the entire data. So because I am the admin, so the, the functionality of row level security is not applicable. And that is why you see that there is no particular selection. But if the user who actually has been defined, who has been configured here as a viewer, he or she comes here, then only the filtered data is going to be shown here. So this is how you can configure the dynamic row level security end to end first in the Power BI desktop and then in the Power BI service. So this is a very important topic on the exam. You can get at least one or maybe more than one questions related to the row level security on the exam. Just make sure that you understand the concept of low row level security, how we use this row level security, how we configure the roles, how we define the roles and how we actually follow everything that we just saw in this particular video. So the sequence is also important that you need to remember the exact sequence. So that's all for this particular video. And this is probably the last video of this course. So uh, you have got, go, gone through, I think, around 113 or 114 videos of the entire course content. So make sure that everything that you have uh, watched, you have taken notes and you have uh, remembered everything, you can always come back and, and revise a particular topic. So I wish you all the best for the exam and hope you clear it in the first attempt. Thank you.